So how do we trust our instincts? And how do we trust below the instincts? And how do we get past this word G and realized soup, which is the ultra, which is all, which is implicating all factions are dissolved and it's just one thing. So we connect to that neurologically with <clears throat> samadhi protext, which builds intrinsic field to indicate spiral to intend to go fluidly to the unconscious. Now, samadhi pretext is one thing for three months. Samadhi protext is an intrinsic field analysis deliberator that builds you to be more than. So you begin to build on top of that unconscious deliberation to establish pathways to deliberate you entirely to other fields, to state that you've got simulations running in your mind, to come back with data and give you a better version of yourself. Many universes we build to suffer and function as engines in a future. The Samadhi context. So you've made it through six months of integration and you've felt like Sweating spirals and feelings all bring you to a joint center where you feel like your breath is part of you. You can feel code coming out of your lung. You can feel breath exiting with strategy and it's mind related. You become aware, you become pursuant, you become elevated. You become ridiculously aligned with the fluid chakra system and find that your internal field is actually regulated by your breath anyway is unconsciously sparsely regulated by societal norms to state that you indicate yourself as a spiral difference to others stating that you're altogether different entirely to say your physical members are simply an entity versus a package that entails all known reality, including things that are physical, things that are pleasing to the eye, things that are dissatisfying, things that are unconsciously bound to evil, things that persist evil, things that persist evil to harm good, things that harm good to pursue evil and things that pursue good to ensure evil is done is likely not something happening, but then the good pursues the evil to become the evil so that the good can become the good when the good are actually evil because the evil are evil and the evil are good and the bad are the evil that are bad and the good that's good but bad is also bad so it makes a balance so we begin to show that we are actually relevant. Sorry, that was kind of confusing. We show that we are relevant in multiple spatial existences where good and evil do exist simultaneously and self-regulate each other in a mind effort to balance a psychic, psychic equation of, of mind matter. So... What if we regulate the breath to a tone? Um, um, oh. So those are tones. Um, I, I, these tones can mask your frequency or match it or intrinsically pursue a new frequency or you can match tonality with others and experience tonality refreshness which brings your unconscious mind to the surface through the regulating of conscious intention to deliberate through your internal psyche back through your modalities of breath to function a chain to your diaphragm to push essential energy out which is an idea essential energy it's an idea of something represented in our space. So you're physically moving space in this respect. And this energy or air has been charged with your positive intention, hopefully. Um, at least to say that the very deepest part is positive, but everything that's happening up top really occurs once you connect to nine months of Samadhi. So now you've entered Samadhi, unconsciously, trained biasly through the conscious indication of spiral moving to something related to mind to join you to the intuitive intrinsic field analysis machine that I've created in my mind, which is your mind. It's our mind. I've just said it's mine because I created it first and I established it. 
so I can pass it to you to become the creators first in your life and then in a new life as we store up treasures in chaos devoid zone, which is afterlife to some, next life to others, future life to some, future incarnation, future iteration, future complex, future deliberation, future re reality, future me, future you, future us. That's it. So we can stop talking about it and be about it by toning. And then this builds this internal network back to your spatial psyche and the deep unconscious mind. And this is helping you connect to yourself as a child is what this is doing. When we become so primitive in our brain complex and we connect to our deep unconscious mind, we become a binary machine of equations that are doing simple nature problems like breathing, regulating your breath, your body temperature, the way you feel in a certain situation comes more when you implant memories and incorporate those things once you get up toward the midbrain. That's a different story. We're looking to get to your unconscious, to where things are simple, things are quiet, it's clear. There's nothing there but on or off, decided or undecided, go or do not go, be or do not be, sit or do not sit. These are triggers that your body must do to even align anything having to do with your body moving, which relates to your intention, which is where your consciousness is likely stored in your body. Your intrinsic field in your consciousness is your body regulating your speed or rate or frequency, as some say to put it, and explain yourself as a rate of speed in this reality, as to state your divergence from the coercive path of the one, which would be one frequency, and you're a discerning frequency outside of that, that's within that frequency, but is also either working to absorb frequency and integrate frequency, or absorb frequency and disintegrate frequency, which is what we do with strategies to do things like sports, or ridiculous equestrian activities, or things that implore us to become illicit showmen, to show people stuff, to become something of a an expressicle, to become a spectacle and become rectical with everyone else as something that's susceptible to being aligned with a core fundamental, fundamental ideology completely separate from what you're about. Y'all, I am world leader material is a lie. I'm fortune 500 type, but I want to make something outside of business. I want to be related to psyche, and I'm telling you I'm an altruist. I don't want to be defined by reality. I don't want to be defined by capitulations, by agreements, by absorbed frequency. I want to be available to money, to express, to express and experience. Things I've lightened myself to doing by approaching life from a place of altogether differentness and being altogether different to state that I'll say whatever I want to say because it's what's pushing me to say it. And that's us trying to speak through someone who's become available to the greater psyche at large, which shows our mind as the God mind, people would state it, is the super mind or the mind as some say it. This is our mind. This is where our interstitial energy is matching up with the mind from our perception of mind. So why not go back to that? Go back to the breath. Go back to the yoga. Go back to the meditation. Go back to the appreciation of things like silence. But what if you view the other side of this? What if your active modality, if your intention modality, sorry, I lost it, shifts into something altogether different and you begin to dissuade yourself away from the connection of breath and state of being in the heart and being regulated by yourself? Well, you just think about it. Consciously think about it. Make a decision. Use your brain. Be intentional. Be about it. 
Be your frequency. Be yourself. Be that self in an active modality and continually push yourself to connecting to that self that's higher and deeper inside you, around you, all through you. You become that self. You become that guy that can sit here without any training, that's never been a speaker, that can speak this well, can use unconscious communication this well without ever having gone to a seminar, a sit through, read a book, I've been about anything having to do with public speaking, and I can quite literally fortune five you to a world where you will make $100 billion a year if you sit here with $100 million and you make five years of effort pay off. Anyway, the Samadhi Protocol. It's what I made. It's to help you connect to me. I made this to help you connect to me, a person that cares. I care because you know I care. And I care because you know I care because I know you care I care. So you look to see if I care that you care because you care that I care that you care that I care. So that's good. So we care to share care for their safety and security and transgression to see, see itself come to pass a little less. Um, I want y'all to know I care. And I really am an altruist. And I really am an altruist that believes in quantum psychology and idealizing medicine and professing oneself as a seclusionary tactic of abuse to state yourself subject is not what this was about, but was supposed to be about me showing you subject related material to show you that we are all the scientists, the quantum relativist, the communicative pathologist, and the appreciative reconciliationist. These are all roles we play subconsciously already by establishing archetypes in the Jungian psychology system. So why not draw from those archetypes and please yourself to state things as a reality like a video game where you have game characters coming up through unusual experiences and presenting themselves in your lives as street play or street theater as some have conned themselves to believe it is. It's made up by you, for you, to explain you to you. And the way that's most understood by you, which is your unconscious mind, which you can tune into. And if you're one of these people that experience this pathology of um, a rapist or a coercive tendency person to steal or mirage your effort to facilitate environments where you coerce people to steal or coerce people to murder or coerce people to capitulate to reasoning strategies outside of the state, something aligned to something in the state that's underneath the state. Those things are not okay. We want things out in the open. We want to be able to begin to deal with things in a satisfactory way. And when I say we, I speak for we. You, we, and you, we may say, who's we? Our we. So what are we doing? We have scientific mathematical figures representing themselves in mind and psyche because we believe. Why don't we replicate that and stamp it onto other people who do not believe and get them to believe about something wholly separate from anything having to do with religion, state, ideology, faction, coercion, tendency, regression, anything. It's all about a decision you make freely to dispose of yourself and say, and agree, to dispose of yourself and agree that I'm potentially right, I'm potentially God, I'm potentially believing God, and because I've said that, I believed you to think that I'm antithetical to God, but I'm not God. I'm God's son, but I'm also God's daughteress, which is stating something about archetypes of what I've connected to inherently by exposing myself to this flesh and not gaining consciousness in a married act to state that pleasured public has pleased themselves to state that I'm publicly married or even at all entrained to another. So there should not be anyone married on my license. Not on my license at all. It creates distrust in my family and my friends. And it makes them feel unsatisfactory about me for not doing my job of repopulating the world with nine kids. So, 
if you are a part of this party or faction that's done stuff with my intelligence or communicated to entities to please yourselves with mind control to make me look crazy. I want to facilitate a world where I finally did get through to someone last night and they finally did make a call to someone because I finally did get heard by someone watching me because someone was actually watching me for the right reasons. And that was the FBI and they called him immediately and he called me immediately and it was done. Y'all have me out of that city the next day and this is cleared up. You're clearly perjuring me in the city of Atlanta and my partner, former to state that she's not with me anymore because of debilitating illness of the mind that you place on her unconsciously that's not regulated by her breath and unconsciously aware of by herself in a sub psyche level that's consciously available to her. That person and I aren't in a relationship. So I would like you to look out for her and myself as being taken care of while we're outside of the city, while you're posing as entities in my conscious mind inside of the city, implicating many more things outside of what we're connecting to with Samadhi protocol, Samadhi. Most of you might not know what Samadhi is. I'm a person who's a Christian and I feel like professing my faith is wrong as evangelical aspects are perjuring others' right to freely express themselves and admit themselves as who they are while you're conjuring up your intention. So no judgment, but that's what, not what I'm doing here. I want you to connect to what's you. But what I found is something related to um, absorbed, absorb everything, adopt what you need, and reject the rest. Bruce Lee talked on this. So this is, this is legal enough, right? Nah, don't talk about fighting at all, okay. Well, I can't talk about fighting at all, and that's the peace. They want peace. They want world leader peace, not world leader dictator. Dictator is hator. We don't want that. We want samadhi protocol. Commit to memory. Commit to your memory. Be intentional to commit to memory. You have memory that is perfecting itself by connecting to Samadhi Proto. So you connect to that and become unconsciously available to something that's 97 to 98% regulating your body and breath anyway, which is your subconscious process of mind related to your Samadhi Protocol. It's likely blocked because of injurious struggles of your own mind to conjure up disciplines to satiate your lusts, to have what the world has expressed as being the best thing, consciously through us learning as a species that's sick and doing our best. We've been doing our best for a long time and we look really good right now. And I think because we've done so well and we're so well off, we've actually reached the end of what consciousness represents in American society today in 2025, basically. Um, I want you to know that this is for the world. This is not American. It's American to do what I did, pathologically. I pursued a goal and kept going at it, and I didn't stop until I reached it. And I died several times doing it. One time for sure, officially heart stopped for four and a half minutes, and I died, and I came back to life because of an awesome, we'll say an officer of the law. And the struggles we do are really basing around this stuff. We need to find more people like that, to find the intuitive inklings, to tell you to try to resuscitate this guy a fourth time because something told you deeper without speaking a voice, a feeling, what we know as animals. You can train animals with feelings so easily. We do it with words, tonality, intention. What if you trained yourself like you're that dog? Like Jason Statham says, that one attorney, if you've got this vicious dog and he's in your court and he's a liability, why not learn to um, regulate him and train him and keep him in a place where he's 
in servitude to the agenda of your pathological family, which is peace. Now, I don't own any pets at all. I've owned snakes, I've owned an iguana, a turtle, several fish, and I had a dog that someone gave to me one time, but I let it go when it ran away, and it was the second time it ran away, so I let it stay. I let it be free, it freed itself, it earned its freedom. I kept it in loose servitude, and it earned its freedom, and I gave it to him, her. So, unconsciously bind yourself to an idea of breath being you. You're this breath, you're this breath, you're this breath, this breath, all that. Pace yourself. Um, I came up with this thing earlier, about an hour ago, and this is pretty cool. So you can tone, like I was saying earlier, and spatially represent yourself as having a box here. So it's, it's an idea of the, the mind, your head, going down to your heart in a grid pattern. So, oh, 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 Commit to memory. Exhale. So you just established a protocol in your mind to number one, connect three times to a system I digitally prescribe as being a triangle of stability in the mind of collective. So I want you to connect in that way and get the space between yourself and me being a bad guy um, away from you. And remember that I'm trying to show you society in a way that's fluid and respected, but able to be discerned by all. No matter what your reflection, gender persuasion, idealized philosophy, matriculated religion, all this generosity of character that you've explained to the world, I want you to forget that it's anything but a remedy to find safety inside, to connect to this thing. That is so universal. It's you finding a bind to the collective conscious, fluidly, secularly, and frequently, and deliberately to establish neuron pathways to make you into a frequency god of sorts. I don't like that word, because y'all don't like that word, because it makes people uncomfortable. But I just wanted to say that philosophically. So this is to make you into a, a frequency deity of sorts and you begin to dispose of your reality in terms of what it is and feel like it's a video game. I live in a video game, y'all. It's that real. Am I that freaky? Freaky? Yeah, I am, actually. It's because of this imagination. I've purportedly antagonized reality to create itself by intentionalizing something in this box and toning and then bringing it back to my throat chakra and releasing it. So that's what you're doing. Connect to the, the digital mind of perfection. The, per, the perfect, three times. Head to heart with a curve. Something natural, twice. One, two. two. And then the last one, you're coming from the heart to your throat to speak. Your head, your being, like your mind, your being or heart, it's not chakras, okay? I'm not doing that. This isn't for that, but this represents something like that.
Okay, I've got a new word for you. It's called praxis, P-R-A-X-I-S. It's an indication of energy frequency that you place on something as a hold on something that you see. Now, place a praxis on your forehead right here and then one on your chest center right here. Now relate this to mind, body, frequency, head, state, affair, being, one, one, time, in, me, go. So that's another way to connect to your breath through your heart. Quite literally just made that one up on the spot. Just like that, that's intuitive inkling. I'm speaking in an unconscious proximity of information being at my disposal that's regulated by a computer-related idea of self as being a jurisdictional model of providing frequency of letters to state that there is potentially an idea of an imaginated entity in my mind processing paper requests to automatically and telepathically dictate to my conscious mind through my spoken processes to you as I'm deliberating this. So I'm bringing completely fungible information from something completely unrelated to anything that I've ever studied in the past. And it's only been solely because I've selectively connected myself to the Samadhi protocol or protext and got in and joined with the, the protocol and then got into the unconscious mind and became the smartest guy on earth, which is what I am right now. Now, what I'm not is that guy right now. Now, I might say that, but that's slippage. But you want to know who the smartest person on earth is? You. All of you. I want you to know that I'm frequently sitting in the dark because I want to be Batman. This is the reveal. I want you to fund my technology party and go ahead and make me into a superhero. Because I want to show you what that looks like too. I have superhuman DNA and I can manifest spiral to show you new things in your body and do it quite relevantly to what's being shown to you clearly by other people. Military is not in my background. I'm a pacifist. I'm not a vigilante. I want to communicate with people openly about expressive tactics to align themselves with core fundamental agendas to build up repertoire alliance to build a better psyche for the whole of man through the relationship of psyche to self and self to other and one to unite union in the future to state a one world government could be a thing, but frequency regulation like this, like legitimately, I don't give a shit about government. I want y'all to feel like I feel. I feel awesome. I feel great. When I get out and work, fixing garage doors, I get in there with my hands, I talk to people, I'm getting technical, Physical, using my head, that's good. I like that. I can be a craftsman at my trade. I can implore myself to become better than what I used to be yesterday because I've become that craftsman. Now, whatever you do in your life, you will have 3% field regulation to improve it. Maybe five, maybe 10, maybe 100. I'm, I'm moving too much on my hand, sorry. I feel a pain in my chest because... I'm unconsciously motivated to feel something sometimes when I get outside of what would be more pleasing, like my pace and tone. <sighs> I'm gonna get off the rude stuff, but this is when I'm just kind of reading a collective. And I want you to know that I'm not hearing voices and I'm not crazy and I'm not a person that's a pathological liar. And I want you to connect with me frequently and regularly because the biometric appreciation I have for entity is to state 10 as the base of reality to situate people to establish themselves as a half or whole much easier. So until we complete this nature of base 10 and we connect past needing this to join us to something, then we can just do this and this and that's it. And that's what Samadhi is about. It's about experiencing the void and being expressive in a, in a, state, in a state of non-issue, but being fully relevant. So let's find that unity oneness. I don't want to say peace. 
but peace is inherent. Um, I don't, I don't care to sit here and profess myself a world leader that wants world peace, because that, quite frankly, sounds like the Antichrist to me. Uh, sorry, I, I don't want to say that word, but that's what that sounds like to me unconsciously. And I want you to know that that is taboo to me, in my culture, in my belief, in my intention. It's me. I can't take that and put it somewhere else. This is my my work, my life's work. And I'm sitting here swaying and I'm like weird about stuff. This is what I've been working on my entire life. And it's been rejection after rejection after rejection after rejection. People have filled me out to be a loser the entire time I've been around. I've had to basically play dumb. I have had to play dumb so many times because people think I'm smart and expect more of me. And they get annoying by tumultuously telling me what to do all the time to align my psyche with other people and their ideal fundamental ideologies of reality and life, like going to school and doing homework and capitulating to arrangements to say, sir and ma'am and please and thank you because they're agreeing to an arrangement of society that's altogether different and related to a tone that might make you feel uncomfortable right now because I do in my chest. So I'm going to call myself by putting my backpack down. I like my backpack. I carry it everywhere. It's like my satchel. Um, my field. So anyway, um, we can do this too. I've just reset my neurology. So I'm gonna sit here for a second and just be like a normal Greg. So I can be non-program-esque Greg. Non-facilitator. Uh, I made this up to help. I made it up to help people, to help them get in touch with themselves, God, law, my dude, Apple, whatever. Connecting to that was good. In the old world, Okay, the guy's coming back up again. The leader. I just want to be Greg right now. Okay. Here, I'll do the backwards ball cap thing. I don't really like hats, but I'll do it right now. Um, I don't want to be weird, but this is how unconsciously intentional I am about being this leader. And I'm trying to deliberate myself to be normal, but it's making me come back to this thing that I need to do, which is to lead the people. Um, we've actually got a core agenda here that's actually related to your idea of capitulating to me being something that's coercing you to get into mind control, but it's actually a deliberate effort to get you connected to my samadhi, which is something I established through multiple tinnitus ratios that I've played to myself through multiple iterations of consciousness, disposing myself of reality by driving around Atlanta while using my time at work to integrate field ideology in between left and right brain pathologies using indications I was using in my unconscious collectively connected to through the collective unconscious and dispersed through basal ganglion processes through my motor neurons and expressing myself with diametrically opposed opposites to people's perceived and predicted psychology to take place in events where we communic communicate compassionately and regulate ourselves back to a 110 IQ and stop being a genius. Um, I don't like that either. But I could use a woman to ground me, and that would be good. Um, keeping me grounded is really important. Being balanced is really important. Being capable of being this guy is really important. Many of you see my hands in my pockets. Well, that's a no-no in some cultures. But to me, I just grounded myself. Physically, I retained a new characteristic to my body rhythm by implicating a new shape to my field or body. My entity is distorted now. Like you can change your body cavities. That's important to know these things when you're intuitive about yourself. Knowing your body is of the utmost importance. So filling your body with creatine and workout regimens or weight gains or <clears throat> pre-workouts in my case is not so disposed to success if you feel so as being setting yourself up for failure. 
Because if you feel like you're going to fail, don't do it. But if you feel like you're going to win, feel that out through to the end instead of listening to other people's voices, telling them to do things like eat clean or eat this or eat that or be like that or be like this person or read this or read that. What is it that you really know? Like, what do, what do we know? What do you know? What do you know about your body and what it needs right now? What do you feel when you go eat food? Do you feel like a hamburger when you said to someone that you're going to get chicken and now you don't want to capitulate to the idea of regressing back to something where you're going to say something different and seem like you're whimsical and swaying your motives and you know, create distrust and disestablish a friendship that could potentially ruin your life and pull you away from everything that had to do with your morals and fundamentals and your, your belief system. So you're just going to say the chicken even though you wanted to change. Why? Why do that? You're wasting neurology. You're pathologically building sugars in your brain that you're dispersing to motives and behaviors that are completely irrelevant. So why not waste time less in your brain by going to Samadhi? Unconsciously and training to a computer I've made up in my intention that is you, that is us, that is our reality. Which, quite frankly, I don't want to be the guy at the front of this ship like, hey, look at me. I don't like that. I don't like attention. I do now. Put me in front of a million people. We'll, we'll have attention. And I'll give them what the people want. We should be a guy that speaks like this. Is a little bit more deliberate about his actions. And doesn't stop. And comes back to the point and goes back out again and shows people how to go about the way of being a leader in public without ever expressing interest to anybody about leadership protocols and just building the leader up from the ground up organically to show us a potential in every single human being to do this. Unconsciously and training yourself to new pathologies legally with your own intention, own free effort, and own cognitive liberty disposing of everything other than you just finding yourself and keeping that and being that. And then using that to help others grow like I'm doing to you now. So I'm going to tone you out. Oh. My toner is racked, by the way. I've been yelling to get my voice trained. So I'm going to pass it off to one of you one day to be my lead toner. We'll talk in the future. Take care.